Hey gamers, it's Crazy Carl coming back to you to tell you a little bit more about the paratroopers. Um, last video you saw a little bit about what you can do with paratroopers. Uh, I showed you a headquarters dropped. Um, it was pretty simple, just kind of a uh, uh, one instance in which I had the opportunity to uh, catch an undefended headquarters, dropped on it, built a barracks, built an armor base, and uh, that's kind of the, the the idea, the main idea behind trying to drop on the headquarters is to uh, be able to build a couple things where you can pump a lot of units out of straight away. Um, here's, a, here's a video of what uh, a, me and my friend did a uh, double paratroop rush on our enemy. This is a three on three map. Um, you'll see here that I uh, went ahead and I built an airfield right away. Uh, one supply depot. Um, didn't didn't really do much else besides just build I think a dozen paratroopers to go straight into my uh, uh, my opponent's base the guy that was pretty much catty corner from me um, on the other side of the map you're gonna see that uh, my my teammate is gonna basically do the same thing to the opponent that is catty corner to his side of the map so um, We'll cross each other here in the middle of the map. We'll both drop. Actually, as a matter of fact, he, he was supposed to go to the catty corner base, but instead he di diverted and went to the middle base. I remember now. Um, yeah, there it goes. He goes straight to that base right there while I go to the base right to the right of that. Um, what you want to do is, uh, and the reason why you see so many paratroopers is uh, in, in an early rush, as opposed to try to do a ninja rush, uh, which uh, you'll see more about here in a little bit, is just the sheer the sheer volume of uh, of infantry is really hard to to deal with. So unless somebody has a couple of of uh, infantry bunkers and, or a couple anti-infantry tanks, uh, it's going to be really hard to stop that. Um, so anyway, you see here that my opponent puts blitz, or my uh, my teammate puts blitz on his uh, on his uh, air transport, so he gets there quicker. Um, he's already dropping. He sees that there's some heavy infantry or some heavy units there uh, stopping him and shooting some of his planes down. So you see only some of his uh, paratroopers actually make it in, but enough to cause a, a, a decent amount of trouble in there. At the same time, you'll see my paratroopers have a lot. Uh, easier time getting in there because my opponent um, uh, uh, didn't build any anti-air units. So you'll see my uh, paratroopers are going to come in here and uh, cause havoc to this guy's side of the map while at the same time my teammate is uh, punishing the guy in the middle. So the double paratroop rush uh, works really well on a 3v3 map uh, for the reasons that are pretty obvious, just the size of the map works really well. Um, if you're able to kind of pinch the guy in the middle by having captured the both of the bases around him, it works really well too. Uh, and um, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's uh, well worth the try. Another strategy that I want to show you guys in this video that's uh, I found to be really successful is um, is the, the ninja rush, the ninja paratroop rush, which is uh, sort of the same idea as the 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 video I made last time, part one of paratroops uh, paratroopers uh, tips, and that is uh, a headquarters drop basically, but this time you will do everything in your power to make sure that your opponent doesn't see you. Uh, we're going to do this by using ruse cards and by uh, controlling our air transports uh, very well so that they don't, uh, so they're not detected by enemy units. <clears throat> So you see that I, uh, I scouted his his base, saw that he's got a headquarters and a couple buildings, not too many units, um, or any at all that I was able to see. So uh, I'm gonna jump on the gun here and go ahead and uh, build myself a uh, uh, an airfield right in front of my headquarters, because that's the best position to make sure that your bombers aren't seen when they take off. Um, don't ask me why, if you put it a little bit to the right, it doesn't work as well, and a little bit to the left as well. Um, right here you see that I targeting my paratroopers right to the left of his base um, and that's so that it doesn't so that the air transports don't go straight down the middle uh, as you can see here I'm gonna put um, uh, radio silence on both of those areas so that I can uh, 
uh, be undetected. And then you see here the uh, bombers take off, or not the bombers, but the air transports will take off from my airfield uh, undetected. Um, and uh, again, you have to put the airfield right in front of your headquarters, otherwise it, it, you find it, they will be seen. Um, again, you will send them, um, you'll direct them, and you're gonna continue to have to direct them all the way to the guy's base. Um, and that's really the most important part of making sure that you pull a successful paratroop ninja rush at the beginning of the match is uh, to just keep hitting those, uh, you know, keep clumping those units and keep sending them the, the way around uh, the area where they can be seen, um, and uh, it should it should work out. Um, you know, sometimes people have recon in there, and uh, that, that's kind of a bummer. But you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot more likely that you're gonna be, have a successful parachute rush. Uh, that that uh, you know is gonna be successful at keeping the enemy at bay if uh, they don't see you coming. Uh, so here you see that I'm gonna put radio silence in the very last area that I need it in which is the enemy's base I'm gonna grab those bombers for one last time and I'm gonna put them right on top of the headquarters and uh, as you see here I did drop one of my uh, and I didn't mean bombers I mean air transports you did see that I put an air transport uh, to uh, land some parachuters there on the left just in case the other ones aren't successful um, so here you see, you know, with four air transports, I sent three to his headquarters. I left one on the outside, sent them into the woods just in case. And then I'm going to drop those three right on top of his base. Um, you, if you saw that, the, you know, the airplanes, uh, the air transports were blinking. That means that they were uh, under, uh, uh, under radio silence. That means that they were undetected undetectable to enemy units. So here you see that you have uh, three of my paratroopers coming down. They're going to capture the headquarters, uh, have more than enough uh, than, that I need to beat the uh, air anti-tank that they had right there, which doesn't do much against infantry. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build a, uh, a barracks right after that. And, uh, and then, you know, and then it's sort of downhill for him after that. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing these parachute rushes is uh, sometimes you will take their base, you will build a barracks and armor base, and you're gonna hold them off for about five or ten minutes, and uh, they're gonna take the their base back. Um, that happens more often than you think. It's not a big deal, you know. They actually have the advantage since they have two other bases right next to them. Um, don't think of it as a big deal. The, your the goal here is not to win the game by doing this, but to create a diversion so your opponent, so your teammates can do uh, cause some damage in the middle and then the other flank. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, a couple of strategies for you guys. Uh, make sure to check out Battle Strats for more tips and strategies on Ruse and other games. Crazy Carl, checking out.